Let's take a moment and just consider how absolutely incredible Saturn's ring system really is and how lucky we are to have such an amazing celestial object in the sky. Now, most people don't know this, but Saturn's rings, they're one of the flattest objects in the entire solar system, meaning their width is something like 280 thousand kilometers edge to edge like this, right? But their thickness is only about 10 meters. Just think about that for a second. If you were standing there and looking edge on, the thickness of that ring system right there would only be about 10 meters. Now this is an artist's conception of the ring system if you were at the edge looking directly through the ring system towards the planet. Now these rings actually comprised of billions of particles. Many of them are the size of houses or large boulders, but surprisingly most of them, the vast majority, are tiny, tiny little specks of rocks and dust and actually mostly ice that are the size of a single grain of sand. Think about that. Most of it is tiny, tiny dust particles the size of a grain of sand, while some of them are as big as an entire house. Now, Saturn's ring system is truly mind-blowing. As you zoom in, you see more and more and more of these fine gaps and divisions. In fact, if you look inside of this gap, you'll actually see a moon orbiting and kind of clearing a path inside of the ring system. These are called shepherd moons, and as we sent probes to Saturn, we see so many of them, they're all over the place, and they're clearing lanes of traffic inside of the ring system. This is a false color image to show the contrast here. You can see, as you zoom in, you just see so many thousands and thousands of divisions inside the ring system. The largest division is called the Cassini division, but there are millions more as you zoom in. Now, the interesting thing about these rings is they're pretty young. They think that they actually were formed by the breakup of some sort of comet, maybe even only 10 million years ago, which sounds like a long time, but is really short time in geologic time. So very young, and actually these rings are going to disappear as on the inner edge, they're slowly attracted into the atmosphere of Saturn, falling down as sort of like ring rain, dusty rain like that. And so they could be gone in only 100 million years learn anything at mathandscience.com.